year. What is good, John? Welcome back to you again. Another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for y'all, man. Today, we gonna be getting rid of you. Most, more than likely. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? 99.9% .9 sure. I, okay, 99% sure. Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. That we're gonna be getting rid of this check engine light in today's video. Let's go ahead and roll that intro and we'll get straight into it. Yeah, what's up, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it. We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it. Please, none of the talks, I heard enough of it. Like, what you gonna do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this. Don't talk about it. Really on the move, on the map, never slip. Keep your hands to your lips. Don't talk about it. Real eyes, real lies, real lies. All the time, stand on it. If we said it, we don't walk around it. Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips, new phone. Who this? No, we don't allow it. Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road, came from. So, as you guys can see, man. Your boy is in one of those moods, man. I, I really, I really feel like this is gonna fix the issue that we've been having with Vader's check engine light. But then again, I was almost the same amount of confident in the connector fixing the issue as I am confident that this valve is gonna fix this issue. So basically, man, if you guys have been in the loop with all the videos and all the vlogs, man, you guys already know what's going on. But if you haven't, here's a quick summary to catch you up. So basically, my car is throwing a check engine light for the code that is on your screen right now. Basically, this check engine light is simply because the actuator on the AFM valve decided it was going to leave the chat. And so that being said, it's tripping out the car, you know, throwing off the chassis control module, which is now throwing a check engine light. So basically at first, you know, upon, you know, the first steps of diagnosis, I noticed that the harness had a little bit of corrosion on it. So I went ahead and I ordered a new connector and spliced it in. After slicing in the new connector, we still have the check engine light. Now, while I was fiddling with the connector, I decided to take off the actuator just to see if I could see anything, you know, out of the ordinary. When I took the actuator off, I could literally hear there was something like bouncing around inside the actuator. So I figured the actuator is no good. So to back up that thesis, what I did was I took the GM computer and I connected it to the car and I went ahead and I went inside of the car's computer and I tried to manually open up the valve and it literally shows on the computer that the valve is not reading at all. It says that it's out of range. So basically the car doesn't even think that the valve is there. It's not communicating at all. So I believe that the, the valve is out of there. Now, you guys, I know what you guys may be thinking. Dang, J.I., now you got to go buy a new actuator, right? This would be true if, if I was still using my MPP function. But since I'm running the AWE track, Axelback Exhaust, shout out to AWE, one of my sponsors, my MPP mode is inactive. So we have not one but two actuators that came off of the MPP mufflers. In theory, I should be able to screw this passenger side actuator in replacement of the one that's broken, plug in the connector, turn on the car, and we should be able to have no check engine light. In theory, you know what I'm saying? This should work. The part numbers are the same. It is literally the same actuator, the same valve for both the MPP and the AEM function. So we're gonna see, man. We are on the way back up to the dealership right now. Just left the storage lot. And we're gonna pull the car in, man. Get it up in the air, swap those out. 
drop the car back down, cut it on, and we'll see what happens, man. I'm not 100% sure if this is going to work, but you guys already know. I'm going to take y'all along for the journey. So let's go ahead and get back to the dealership. <laughs> So we're gonna be replacing this joint right here. As y'all can see, that's my wiring job from yesterday's video. If y'all ain't peeped that joint, go tap in. Yeah, you know, it ain't the cleanest, but it works. So, you can, oh wow, it ain't even connected right now. That's crazy. But we about to go ahead and swap this joint and see what happens. First, I'm gonna just connect it and see before I even do anything. All right, y'all, so I went ahead and had this plugged in, remote started the car, had the car in tour mode, all the things that would have caused the check engine light to come back on after I cleared it, and I'm not having the check engine light pop back on. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount this up to the bracket, and then we'll take the car around the block and we'll see what happens. All right, y'all, so as y'all can see, we are currently in Vader, man. Um, and as y'all can probably tell by my voice, I'm really on the fence right now. I'm not 100% sure if Vader's actually fixed or not. Um, I got the car, everything installed and whatnot. Went and parked the car, remote started it, picked it up, brought it back to the front, cut it off, remote started it again. When it came back on the second time, the check engine light actually ended up coming on. So that being said, I'm like, damn, bro, what do I do? So I went ahead and did a relearn on the valves, which I hadn't done yet. And I remote started the car. Now remember, um, I remember yesterday when I was trying to do the relearn, it was saying that the valve was out of range um, and that it actually wasn't there. So today when I went to go do the relearn, it actually did pop up and allow me to do the relearn. So I'm kind of hoping that that is going to help me fix this issue um, because, you know, it's a step in the right direction for sure. The fact that it's allowing the car to go through the relearn, the ECU is allowing it to go through the relearn actually, you know what I'm saying, kind of gives me hope. But I'm not 100% sure, man. You know, I'm just going to keep you guys in the loop. Right now, I am driving to the ATM. I'm, I'm going to turn the car off, turn it back on multiple times and see what happens. I'm currently in tour mode. Um, that's usually when the AFM valves actually kick in is when you're in tour mode or when you do a remote start, the car checks everything. Um, so, you know, we'll see, man. I'm not 100% sure what's going down right now, y'all. I can't lie. I, I can't even lie. I can't. I don't know. I don't know. So, we'll see, bro. Remote start. Clear skies, still clear skies. My bad, y'all. And it's back on. I don't know what to do with this car, bro. Oh, 